it has to be an amazing wedding. I'm a wedding planner. You know, everyone's gonna look at our work. It's much more difficult than deciding on other people's behalf. So it really has been very, very, very stressful. Ziad wanted a really, really small wedding. And I like big weddings. So we compromised and ended up with a number of uh, 600 attendees. So my parents were friends with her parents. I was friends with her sister. They were classmates. Then 28 years later, we bumped into each other. We're a friend of ours. We're getting married there. But when I saw her, I had the feeling of her being the one. I felt that this would progress to where we are today. Long time ago, Arab women, they were mostly housewives. Today, it's very different in the 21st century. We're women who have careers. And I love that he's the type of man that appreciates that and values that. We wanted a destination by the sea. We wanted something which is very grand. In Europe, it was more of restrictions on the after party and having to move inside. And Arabs like to party like crazy, so that was like a no-no. And then when we came to Beirut, we saw this venue and we didn't even ask. We just knew it was going to be the place. I'm Catholic. Ziad is Orthodox. We come from different sects. But then because he's Orthodox, what happens is uh, basically I'm going to convert and become an Orthodox. But that's going to take place on the day of the wedding. We have a cultural identity. but. We are getting exposed to different cultures, which is making our own identity. And as long as me and her can respect each other, then you can grow. Being together, we develop each other or we pull each other up or down or sideways in life. I'm so blessed to have them. This is the most difficult wedding I've ever been involved in. The vibe is going to be royal and elegant. In our culture and in our tradition, they say that the wedding is for the parents and not for the people getting married. I think it's for both, really, because... We've respected their decisions yes. and their inputs. We ask for a traditional zafa. It's it's Arabic music. Welcoming the bride to her new life, as if she's not alone. She has family behind her. In Arab cultures, they consider the woman to be the flower of the house. And when a woman leaves the house, they don't just walk out and go to church. They're kind of celebrated. And it's like our cultural way of telling the bride that now we're ready. The party after is going to be the highlight, but I think the church ceremony is what makes it special. With the vows and, you know, the wedding dress, her entrance. I think this is the magical part of the wedding. There are certain cultural values that we believe in, that we've respected these things and we've kept them. It's not just a tradition that's being done with no purpose. Her dad once told me, you've taken the most precious thing I have and 
You know, he, he's put it right. <laughs> After the church ceremony, there is no more traditions left us to celebrate our marriage. A lot of the wedding has elements which reflect our own identities and compromise. I think we managed to put it together. As a couple, I feel that this mix of avant-garde meets classical together would bring out something very special. If you're a bride-to-be, you're going to be super stressed. There's a lot of things to think about. Honestly, just sit, have your alone time, think of all the beautiful things. Uh, it will all pass by very smoothly. I believe that life will take you through the right steps. And there's a solution to every problem. Thanks for watching Worldwide Wed. Subscribe to Refinery29 to never miss an episode.